Hey everyone out there, I'm Hoop Smiles. In this video today, gonna be talking about bright light therapy. What I plan to cover in this video, I'll start out by talking about my personal experience with my mental illnesses. I'll also talk about what is bright light therapy, who is it for, and does it actually work? Also, I'll be talking about what kind of light therapy lamp you should get. I'm also gonna talk about how to use your lamp. I also put the timestamps to each section of this video in the description of this video so you can jump forward to different parts of the video at any time. This video is sponsored by Carex Health Brands, which is the maker of this light right here, the Daylight Classic Plus. Also put a link in the description of where you can buy the Daylight Classic Plus along with how you can get a significant discount on this light therapy lamp. So first off, I wanna talk about my mental illnesses. So in the past, uh, I've struggled with OCD. I also have depression. I feel like there's been times where I've wanted to die in my life. You know, times where it's so hard to find the motivation to get up and do the things that I wanna do and be expressed. In my estimation, I've now been using bright light therapy for about two years. And I wanna talk about my experience of how uh, using bright light therapy has impacted my life and if it actually works, which I will get to later on in this video. Also, by no means am I a doctor, so if you're gonna use bright light therapy, I recommend that you consult your doctor first before doing so. So what is bright light therapy? In short, uh, bright light therapy is using lamps uh, such as this one right here to mimic sunlight. Now these light therapy lamps may have other names as well, such as happy lights, uh, light boxes, light therapy boxes, etc. Now, before I continue on any further in this video, I just want to let you know that a lot of the information that I used about bright light therapy, I got from the Carex blog. I also used some graphics from the blog as well. So I definitely recommend checking out the Carex blog. I put a link in the description of this video. It has a lot of helpful information about, about bright light therapy. Now, according to the Carex blog, we all need sunlight to live healthy lives. Our exposure to sunlight aids in the production of a variety of vitamins and minerals, including melatonin and serotonin, which directly affect our energy levels and emotions. So what happens if you live in areas uh, during the winter months that receive less sunlight? This is where bright light therapy can help. You can use a strong artificial light source like this one right here to mimic sunlight. In doing so, it can help aid our bodies in the production of melatonin and serotonin when we lack sunlight exposure. Who is bright light therapy for? Bright light therapy can help people that have seasonal affective disorder, depression, sleep disorders including insomnia, jet lag, shift work adjustments, and senile dementia. Now there are some groups of people out there where bright light therapy may not be recommended. Some of the groups may include but may not be limited to people with bipolar disorder, systemic lupus erythematosus, uh, people that may have uh, sunlight sensitivity, also people with certain eye conditions as well. Before you go out and do bright light therapy, I definitely recommend that you talk to your doctor first. Get clear first if this is gonna be okay and right for you. Now here's the big question, does bright light therapy work? In my experience, bright light therapy totally works. I found it to be a great way for me to wake up in the morning. So if I get up out of bed and I turn the light on, I find that it can just kind of help get past that mental fog, uh, that, that slowness to wake up in the morning. So yes, I think it definitely does work in that way. I've also used it paired uh, with cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia and that I felt you know, helped to kind of restore my circadian rhythms. Now, if you are interested in learning about how circadian rhythms affect your body, here's a graphic from the Carex blog where you can go to get more info about this topic. Now, here's the thing, when using these lights, I do recommend that you practice other healthy ways of living. So if you just like, you know, eat a ton of junk food the night before or something, and you expect like, oh, I'll just wake up and use my happy light and feel happy, you know, don't be surprised to find out that you're not probably going to feel that great. Okay, so I would say that these lights don't necessarily alleviate some of the suffering and problems that you may encounter by living um, in other unhealthy ways in your life. 
So when using these lights, I do recommend that you pair using bright light therapy with other healthy practices in your life, you know, such as eating well, you know, establishing a healthy sleep cycle, you know, maybe going to a therapist, getting counseling if you're doing this for depression or whatnot. So I do feel like if you pair this sort of therapy with other healthy practices, then you may get tons of benefits from using these lights. Also want to put out there that I live in Seattle, Washington, and it can get really, really dark here during the winter months. I feel like uh, there can sometimes just be like eight and a half hours to nine hours of light. So for those of you that live in an area where you just don't get much sunlight during the winter, I definitely recommend a bright light therapy lamp. Now here's the thing, regardless of my opinion about bright light therapy, since the 1990s, uh, there have been multiple studies that have shown bright light therapy to be an effective treatment for uh, circadian rhythm disorders and mood disorders. In particular, a study done in 2015 showed that bright light therapy was just as effective as cognitive behavioral therapy in improving the symptoms of acute depression. Also, if you want to check out more about that study and uh, look at the findings of that study, I put a link in the description of this video that will take you right to the web page to do so. Now, when it comes to getting a lamp for light therapy, what are some things that you should look for? Now to get the most out of your uh, bright light therapy, it's recommended that you use a light therapy lamp that can produce 10,000 lux. Now what is lux? Lux measures the amount of light that reaches a surface from a given distance. Now here's an idea of what the lux measurement is of natural sunlight versus indoor lighting. Now, according to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, Americans spend approximately 90% of their time indoors. Artificial light is not nearly as beneficial to our bodies as natural sunlight is. So as you can see, looking at this graphic right here, the lux measurement of indoor lighting is not nearly high enough to reach the therapeutic level of bright light therapy. For bright light therapy to be successful on a therapeutic level, then yes, I definitely recommend that you get a lamp that is 10,000 lux. Now, I also want to put out there too that if you do look for a lamp online for bright light therapy, not all the lamps out there are 10,000 lux. So you want to be really careful. Make sure you check the lux rating of the lamp because I wanted to compare uh, the Daylight Classic Plus right here uh, with this uh, Happy Light by Verilux. Uh, so the Daylight Classic Plus, this is a 10,000 lux light. Uh, so this would be a great light to use for bright light therapy that is at that therapeutic strength for it to be successful. Whereas, you know, this light right here, I believe it's uh, 7,500 lux. So it's under that therapeutic strength. So this particular Verilux Happy Light model right here would not be uh, the best choice to do if you're looking to get the most out of bright light therapy. Now the Lux rating is one of the most important things to consider when getting your light therapy lamp, but there are some other factors that you might wanna consider as well, such as the surface area of your lamp. So if I look at the uh, Daylight Classic Plus right here, this lamp just has a huge surface area. So having a larger surface area can provide a higher Lux output. Now another factor that you might wanna consider when getting a light is you might wanna ask the question, does the lamp tilt? Is the lamp adjustable? Also, something else to consider when getting a light therapy lamp is you wanna ask the question, is it UV free? Now the uh, Daylight Classic Plus right here just happens to be 100% UV free. Now I wanna go ahead and do a quick comparison between some various happy lights right here. Here is the SunTouch Plus by Nature Bright. And then here is that uh, Verilux happy light model that I showed you before. As you can see, you know both of these models have a fixed tilt. So you can't adjust the tilt of uh, both of these lights right here. But what's great about the Daylight Classic Plus is you can actually adjust the tilt. So if I press this button, I can change the tilt of the light, which is really helpful. Uh, also, what's cool about the Daylight Classic Plus, which you can't do in the Sun Touch Plus or uh, this light right here, is I can also uh, adjust this light vertically as well. So if I press this button in front, I can bring the light down, or if I want to, I can bring it back up. 
as well. So that's a nice feature of the Daylight Classic Plus. Now, if you are interested in buying the Daylight Classic Plus lamp right here, I did put a link in the description of this video of where you can buy this lamp. Also, Carex, the makers of this lamp, are providing my viewers a discount. So if you go click on the link, you can get a great, great discount if you use the coupon code HOOPSMILES at checkout. Now in this next section, I'm gonna give you a little tutorial on how to use your bright light therapy lamp. Now, depending on the type of lamp that you have, the directions on how to use your light may vary from lamp to lamp. Now to get started, you wanna go ahead and use your light about 20 to 30 minutes every morning after you wake up. If possible, try using your light at the same time each morning to help program your internal clock. For light therapy to be more effective, position your lamp at a 15 degree angle pointed downwards just above your eyes with your head positioned in the center of the lamp. In terms of the closeness to the light, it's recommended that you position your face about 16 to 24 inches away from the light. Now if that's too close for comfort, you can also try sitting further away from the light for an extended period of time. Now this next step is important. Do not stare directly into the light. Now, if you really want to see how effective your light therapy treatment is, it's recommended that you keep a log before and after your light therapy. Then, if necessary, depending on the results of your log, you can make adjustments. Now, some of you out there might be thinking, how am I going to even get up in the morning and find the time to sit in front of a lamp you know, for 20 to 30 minutes, that sounds really boring or something along those lines. Well, uh, there are some things that you can do, such as you can eat breakfast in front of the lights. Uh, you could also read a book, you know, maybe work on something. Really the key here is you wanna practice doing healthy habits. You know, wake up each morning, get in front of your light, you know, have it on for 20 to 30 minutes and, and make that a healthy practice each day. Now, I have a question for everybody out there. If you struggle with depression, what do you do to help yourself to make it better? Please share that in the comments section below. I would love to hear your feedback of what works for you. And once again, if you're interested in getting the Daylight Classic Plus, go down to the, the description of this video, click the link, and then if you do get it, use the uh, coupon code HOOPSMILES at checkout, and you can get a nice discount on this lamp right here. Also, I do have other videos on my channel about bright light therapy and sad lamps, so I do recommend checking out those videos. Also wanna give a big thank you to Carex Health Brands who sponsored this video, and they also gave me the Daylight Classic Plus. So thank you everybody out there for watching. Until next time.